Hi, my name is Ray Naylor, and this is The Performing Songwriter. My guest today describes her music as a combination of pop, folk, rock, and adult contemporary. She recently released her second CD, Chocolate Happy Cake. I'd like to introduce Tracy Coletto. Tracy, <laughs> how, are how are you? How are you? <laughs> Good. <laughs> I just want to make sure I pronounce your, your last name correctly. Coletto, you got yeah. it. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Um, if you could talk to us a little bit about your music, history of music, your songwriting. Okay. Well, first of all, thanks for having me on the show. Oh, well, thanks for coming. Okay. All right. I'll tell you, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Um, when I was a kid, I would always write songs and I always thought everybody did. Um, they were expressions, you know, whether I had a bad day at school or whatever. And I always never really recorded them, but as I got older, I just started writing them down learned how to play the guitar and eventually play the keyboard and um, but all through my life I've always been singing whether it's musical theater or someone's wedding you know whatever but mm -hmm. I really didn't start honing my songs like putting them into um, a format that would be performable until maybe 10-15 years ago and, um, and that's when I won the John Lennon songwriting international songwriting contest honorable mention which helped me realize that my songs were something because when you write a song you wonder oh is it going to be a song and it's funny though because they're always like three minutes like I never really have to worry about it. they always fall into that and my, maybe that's because you hear radio music all the time mm -hmm. you know when to give up or whatever but <laughs> but anyway so I've always done music it's just that relatively recently um, I've been keeping my music and recording it and then within I vote well my last album I used to perform with a band but now Performing on my own with a keyboard is pretty, pretty new thing that I've been doing uh, for the past four or five years. And now I'm now that the album's out, I'm trying to perform by myself a little bit more too. So now I'm really starting to concentrate on that part of performing. But I've always done music. How do you so, like performing solo as opposed to a band? Um, I'm glad I'm doing it. I think it's important that I do it. Otherwise, um, it would be really, really hard for me to go out and play. It's very hard to get a band together unless you are part of a band. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad I, I, I'm glad I'm doing it, but I, um, I love doing it. It's just that it actually it's, it gives me more freedom to be by myself because I don't have to worry about organizing people. But on the other hand, you're vulnerable, you're exposed, you're by yourself. Mm -hmm. So that's a good thing too, you know, even though maybe it, you can't hide, but it, it helps you get better. So I, I, I like it. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be doing it now. That's, that's, I guess that's what I'm, I would, yeah, that's what I agree to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, uh, yeah, something about your songwriting, uh, which I would like a lot. Um, in terms of the, cr the craft of songwriting, mm -hmm. what, what are the most important things to you in terms of putting together a song? Well, my songs are usually about my life and how I feel. So um, intelligent lyrics. I try to try not to be um, try to be as unique as possible with lyrics. Um, there's some songs. There's some words that are just beautiful that you always have to have in there. Like beautiful. I mean, you can't keep that out. But I try to um, have interesting words. I it's very poetic. Um, the lyrics are very. They're almost like a letter to a friend or to someone relatable, even though they're about me, I'm hoping that they can be relatable to everybody. Um, melody wise, um, I don't know, it just comes together. It, it, I'm, I just look for something that is going to draw someone in and make them think. Mm -hmm. um, I do, I want to make a little bit more happy songs that are just kind of like fun. So, you know, I want to do that as well. But, uh, but most of my songs are kind of thought provoking. That answer your question? Yes, it okay, does. Good. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're going to take a little break here and do our uh, every show. We do a showcase of another uh, performer mm -hmm. uh, through video, and this it's a duo that I've known since the early '80s called Magpie. And I want to make sure I get their last names right. You know how I am with last names. Mm -hmm. It's Terry um, uh, Leonino and Greg Artsner. And again, Terry and Greg, and they, they're um, known as Magpie. And uh, this particular song we're going to listen to is called I Stand Before 
the morning sun. This little song we're going to do, the one that we wrote, um, tells a little bit about who we are. And um, it's called uh, I Stand Before the Morning Sun. Just begun at the crossroads. Now we stand, turning away from fool's treasure. Each one to do our part. We find the wealth that matters is in each other's heart. Is in each other's heart. And that was Magpie. Uh, Tracy, I wanted to ask you, who are some of your influences in terms of your songwriting, I guess you'd say? Okay, a lot of things. I, I like different genres. I So I'm gonna, I, um, 
I guess I could start. Ricky Lee Jones was one of the first songwriters that influenced me because her songs were so um, loose. Mm -hmm. um, Tori Amos has beautiful melodies. Bjork is very creative, so I always liked her stuff. I loved Peter Gabriel's percuss percussion and his um, very, very, he, his music tends to get you inside and out. Like it, it's just a very um, percussive style, which I love. Um, I like Bonnie Raitt's stuff. I like Sean Colvin's things. I, I kind of just mix stuff like that. Carol King, um, Kate Bush. Um, those were the ones that, you know, the older mm -hmm. artists that influenced me as a kid that made me kind of, you know, whenever one of their songs, all of them had one song where I'm just like, oh, you know, mm -hmm. I have to hear that song again, you know. So I've always liked their style. So. Just curious, what, what did your parents listen to? Thank really? Frank Sinatra, show tunes. And my mother wasn't musical. I She didn't really listen to anything. <laughs> <laughs> it was my dad with like Frank Sinatra and show tunes and Sonny and Cher and I, I don't know. I remember him playing a chorus line a lot, which was strange, but but it was mostly Frank Sinatra, Tony Bennett, you know, the Rat Pack, that kind of thing. Did you, do you so, think that any of that uh, osmosis into, into your music? Well, you know, Moon River was a song, was a childhood song that was played. I think Tony Bennett's, it was Stone, Tony Bennett's version. Okay. And that kind of, you know, I, I love that song. As old-fashioned as it is, it has... It has a lot of deep meaning in it, even though it's about a river. It's it, it's it's about journey and and relationships and things like that, which is what I like. So, yeah. Um, I mentioned in the introduction your new CD, mm -hmm. which is called Chocolate Happy Cake. You got it. Um, <laughs> talk a little bit about the record and also about your experience uh, at recording. I know you did it at uh, Morning Star Studios. Yes, I did. I worked with Glenn Barrett, who was a really good producer. Um, Grammy award-winning producer and I started last year last summer uh, 2015 and uh, I I mean the the songs were pretty recent in my life and um, we just started bringing in musicians um, Chico Huff Michael Ronstad um, uh, Eric Johnson Kevin Hansen a lot of really good solid wonderful performers mm -hmm. in the area and it was just a great experience I you know I it just it worked out really well is that uh, something you hope you do more of in the future yeah I wish I had I you know I would like to do another album next year 2017 I'm already starting to write new stuff um we'll just see how it goes I'm like halfway through so okay. but I, I love recording that's it's fabulous I just love it <laughs> <laughs> good uh, we're going to hear some of your songs now. Okay. And uh, while you're getting ready, we're going to look at a video for our next uh, perform next guest, I should say. And it's David Falco. You may I've know heard David. of him, yeah. He's a wonderful uh, finger-picking guitarist. Uh, he composes his own music for the most part and also writes songs. So this, uh, this video is sort of a combination of one of, well, combination of, of part of an instrumental that he wrote mm -hmm. and also part of one of his songs. So this is David Falco and he will be my next guest in about three weeks.
going to sing one. Um, this song is called Buddha. Um, I don't, I'm not going to take the time to introduce it. I'm just going to play it. <clears throat> I walked upon a dream last night, a road dark and dry and cold. And I came across a caisson and loaded down with guns and gold. And there among the spoils, in fever, shattered fright, laid a soldier, sick and broken, in the darkness and the night. And I don't know if it's the suffering, the anger, the guilt, the shame. The helplessness, the emptiness of the endless paths of pain. But I know with doubtless clarity that when I finally wake, I'll never, I'll never be the same. My first song is called Summer inspired by my childhood summer. Are the days when 
when dreams were free, life was easier. At least that's what it seemed. The reach was so far away. I was waiting, waiting, waiting. This song is Keep On Changing. It's about changes and life in the future. There is this house up on this hill and I really like it. I really like it. There are these folks I really miss I wish they were here I wish they were here And why does everything Have to keep on changing Keep on changing I'd rather stay on this hill To see the water reflecting the sun Sun, reflecting the sun There's many places that I have been And I really love it I really love it I wish the bliss that I have there Can it stay with me? Can it stay? I'm going to play Stay, which is inspired by friendships. Despite myself, there's always something I can offer you 
though I try, there's always something I regret. A thousand times I may have brought you grief for me. A thousand times may have made you laugh instead. Stay with me, stay, don't you ever leave me anymore. Stay with me, stay, we'll be friends, we'll be friends. This next song is called Complete Peace, which is about a trip I took by myself for six weeks. Left my job I was spent, then paid two months rent, bought an open and ticket, hopped on a train. Through midnight mountains, next stop, Windy City. And when I saw bison, I felt my heart beat again. Got lost in great stories from whom I thought plain folks, and plenty of others I met on the way. Give in to the strange and the beautiful scenery, my little life fading. Each word they say when happy with strangers and caught a few dollies Played sugar pack checkers while the city awakes A detour through Canada, last minute Vegas Shot cans in the washes with my newfound friends and up on some mountains so far away I knew this was where I was supposed to be Complete peace Big Sur, standing room only to say more in peace. I wake up to laughter and a chocolate happy cake, a time to reflect over Japanese tea. Before on my way home, a huge double rainbow. Daddy, I want you to know I'm okay. To give up my false sense of security, I gladly do it in a minute again someday. Hey! 
Tracy, I love your music. Thanks. And I love your, your new CD. That's, it's excellent. Thank you, know, you. Yeah, it really is. Um, if somebody wants to buy that CD, yes. or when they want to see where you're going to be playing, how would they do that? Well, I have a Twitter page, um, at TracyCletto.com, not at TracyCletto.com, at TracyCletto, T-R-A-C-Y-C-O-L-L-E-T-T-O. Um, I have a Facebook page. I'm not on there as much, but... Um, I do have an events list there. Um, so the, the Twitter and the Facebook are my biggest presence. I do have a website, um, tracycletomusic.com, and my album, Chocolate Happy Cake, is available on iTunes, CD Baby, um, all of those, Amazon. It's all distributed through, um, it's ID'd, so it's, you can see it on YouTube as well, or hear it on YouTube. So I'm, I'm Available everywhere. CD Baby, Bandcamp, yeah. And I, I have a good sense that you're going to be playing that more. I hope so. Yeah, I hope so. So people can get on. Do you have a, uh, how, how would you know who your fans are? Do, they, do you have a mailing list yet? Um, I have, on my website, I have a free download of It's Over, which is the first song, uh -huh. which is the most rockiness song on the album. But um, when you download a free song, you put your email in there. Okay. So that, that's where I get most of my emails. For the list. Tracy, thank you very much. Well, thank you for having me. And um, we look forward to hearing you live. Okay, great. And we'll be back about two or three weeks with David Falcone.